Um, okay, so let's have a look at what we got. Yeah, so what kind of a chorus do you want on it? I don't know, just something to kind of because like... Because that's groovy. I think something that opens up would be a nice thing to have into that. Because it's very, very kind of like a... So it's kind of like groovy and that kind of thing in the, in the chorus. It'd be good to have like just big full chords. I think yeah, you can go in G, A, G, A, and then into a B yeah. thing. Yeah. That's nice. That, so that kind of... Because we use the minor, minor version of the F sharp in the verses, uh -huh. in the like the chorus. Uh -huh. like so, so the pre-chorus can be like that. Yeah, that's cool. So we try try with the verse, two different ways to approach mm -hmm. them isn't it really? Because it's like you've got um we could either have it where you've got one word, it depends how you want to track it as well, though. Like we could track both where you have one, the final word out of the A. And that's what's yeah. held, or yeah. it finishes early. What's the first, the song that came into my head, I don't know if we'll use it, but there's a song that literally just come into my head with that. It doesn't go to the 5, it right. just goes back to the 1 and the 4, or the, the B and the E minor in our case. But I think a repeated phrase that's like a catchy melody over the changes. Should we go like that? Mate, don't even have to say it, it's way too long. Sure. Yeah, that works. There you go. We have a fucking pre-cross. 